Hi, I'm Amberly Mason, and in this edition of the Three Minute Trading Expert series, I'm going to cover the concept of breakouts. This concept is simple, but if you know how to use it properly, you'll start trading with the market rather than against it, and your trading results will get a big boost. Here it is. A breakout occurs when the price of an asset reaches either a new high point or a new low point for a given time period. An upside breakout is when the asset hits a new high. A downside breakout is when an asset hits a new low. Breakouts can be either short term, about five or 10 days, intermediate term, more than 30 days, or long term, more than 200 days. We like to say that breakouts serve as a starter's pistol to signal the beginning of a trend. No uptrend can start without an upside breakout, and no downtrend can start without a downside breakout. Let's look at a few examples. After suffering the big decline of the late 2008 credit crisis, crude oil traded sideways for months before staging an upside breakout to $48 a barrel in mid-March 2009. That's A on the chart. It then proceeded to drift sideways in the high 40s before staging another upside breakout around $55 per barrel in early May. That's B on the chart. As you can see, the concept of an upside breakout is simple. It's when the price of an asset moves into a new area of higher prices. In oil's case, that move in early March took crude to its highest closing price of the previous 60 days. Traders call that a 60-day upside breakout. Now let's look at a downside breakout. The chart here displays a downside breakout in shares of potash during the summer of 2008. After peaking at $240 per share in mid-June, that's A on the chart, Potash drifted lower into the $200 per share range. It then staged a downside breakout in August, B on the chart, taking shares all the way down to $180. This was the lowest closing price in 90 days for Potash. So you can understand why we call this a 90-day breakout. Keep in mind it's also a 60-day breakout because if shares are hitting their lowest level in 90 days, they're also at a 60-day low, as well as a 30-day low and a 3-day low. Breakouts are important because they signal possible trend changes. If you're looking to trade an asset, it helps to wait on a breakout before making your move. It helps to wait for the market to confirm your belief. Waiting for a bit of price confirmation ensures you aren't fighting the market or placing your money into assets that are drifting sideways for long periods of time. If you wait for price breakouts, either short term or long term, before taking a position, you'll increase your odds of success. That's because you're waiting for the market to move with you, rather than against you. I'm Amberly Mason, thanks for watching, and good trading. If you want to learn another incredibly powerful trading secret, click here to watch the next video.